Hello, Zebra Herd. Welcome back to Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Today, we are actually doing something a little bit different. Of course, last episode, we completed all the free play levels. So all these levels right here, we've completed every single one of them. We've gotten everything inside of them. Now it is time to explore Hogwarts Castle itself. It should be a ton of fun when we return to Hogwarts and see what we can find. So it seems like we're starting in the potions classroom. I'm pretty sure because this is the last place we were. Um, we were here to actually unlock Snape. So I, I might as well go through this area and double back and make sure everything is found, but I'm pretty sure we found everything. And that's where things get a little bit difficult is it doesn't really tell you um, at all. You know, like, oh, hey, this is, you know, you can find more stuff in this room. You just sort of have to look through it and make extra sure you've found everything. And it looks like we've cleared it out, except for maybe like some purple studs up there that I really don't need. We have uh, 20 million sets. <laughs> I don't know if we need too much more to buy more characters or anything, but I'm just sort of poking around as fast as I can with anything more, because we use those keys to open that gate. There is this, and the thing is is that we couldn't get this because we need a character with a beard. That's the one thing in this room. So let's go ahead and try to figure that out a little bit. Do we have a character with a beard? We should. Um, we should have, and I hope he counts, uh, Hagrid. Because Filch does it, he has like some stubble. And if I have to, I could go and buy a lot of characters now, but I was sort of hoping I could wait. We might have to wait and see. If Hagrid doesn't work, then I might have to actually go back to the Leaky Cauldron and buy a couple of characters. I wanted to wait until we have them all and just have like a huge spending spree, but now that I'm seeing how few characters we actually have, I am starting to think, you know what, why don't we just go and buy all the characters we need? Yeah, he can go and look at that, Hagrid figuring it out for us. Um, and it's gonna be 15 out of 200, very cool. So 115 out of 200. So we only need, what, 85 more? That's really cool. So, as you can see at any point in time, we can go back here and get some studs and stuff. This is the other cauldron's classroom. Um, I'm thinking then, yeah, just to be extra sure for the situations where we may need it, we're gonna go and just buy a bunch of characters now. Uh, that was a good little test run. We got a nice, you know, good rounded number of studs, or not studs, uh, golden bricks, 115 of them, and there's still more to do. So, we'll go back to Hogwarts, but I'm gonna buy some characters. So I'm not gonna buy every character right now. I'm just gonna buy the ones I feel like might actually be helpful. So like any version of Harry that, you know, we don't have at the moment or do have, or any like kind of like different clothed version of a character we already have. I'm not really worried about that right now. I'm worried about, you know, individual characters might actually end up being helpful. So like Professor Lupin, I don't know if he has anything that the other characters wouldn't have or Lockhart, I'm pretty sure we'd be fine. Um, or any of the professors. I mean, they're not really too expensive luckily. Uh, Ginny, we don't have any version of Ginny, so we might as well get her unlocked. Uh, I don't think we have any version of Fred or George. I, I don't think it really matters too much. Like, I'm really looking for, I guess, people like Haggard who might be bearded or something like that. Um, we already have a Hufflepuff and a Gryffindor and a Ravenclaw and a Slytherin, so we should be fine with all of that. So honestly, I don't know if there really is too much more, but I just sort of wanted to double check. Uh, and it really isn't looking like it. Cedric Diggory, I mean, I guess we could get him. Uh, Maybe important at some point, but I'm doubting it. Uh, there's Fang, you know, it might be good to have Fang and Dobby. I don't know if there'll be a situation where we might need a house elf. Uh, the Professor Quirrell Voldemort, why not? Tom Riddle, Lucius. I don't think, we'll, we'll do Peter Pettigrew. I don't think we need any of these guys. Death Eater, maybe, you never know. Uh, Arthur Weasley, sure, why not? Sirius Black, here we go, he's cool. Uh, Maybe like some, you know, different people from the different schools, so like Floor and Crumb Shark, because I don't think I have any other version of Crumb. No, I have Victor from the Lake Task. Okay. And a Durham Strength student. Like maybe we'll run into a situation where we need uh, those kind of characters. But I think that's going to be about it when it comes to characters we need. I can buy the rest later. Like maybe Cornelius Fudge or something like that. I just don't know what kind of situations we might run into. And that seems to be, you know, the, the good chunk of them. Uh, I mean, we don't have any Muggle characters. Maybe I could get Vernon. Sure, I'll get Vernon. I don't know if there'll be a use for a Muggle character. Uh, the Milkman. Okay. A Professor Bins, just in case we need another bearded character. I think that's, yep, about all of them. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And we're gonna go back to the Hogwarts castle and hopefully figure some stuff out from there. So here we are back in the potions classroom. I figured that I, I, maybe I'll just like work my way back. I was hoping it would restart us right at the beginning of wherever the castle would end up being, but it didn't. What does this potion do? This is the potion that makes us older, right? It gives us a beard. So I guess I could have come back and drank in this and it would have been fine. Uh, 
Yep, he's old man Ron now. Sorry, Ron. You're old now. Uh, I guess you just have to deal with that. And I think we've done most of this. Yeah, this was when we were trying to figure all this out in the actual level. So uh, there isn't really too much for us to get at the moment in this area. I don't know if there's a way to like discover other years of the of the school. I don't know if like it would have actually done too much for us because there's like there's just not much to do around here. Um, so with that being said. Yeah, if I don't need to do anything in here, that's awesome, I can just leave. I don't know if like, you know, this is like obviously how it was at the end of year four, how this area was. Maybe there's a way to, you know, make you go back to year three or year two, maybe there'll be more collectibles. I'm really not sure. Uh, but that's what we'll just try to figure out. Uh, for right now though. Oh, okay. Oh gosh, sorry. Um, That's not my intention, but I guess that student is just gone now. Uh. What was this? Oh, okay, it was just a thing. But basically, we just have to run through the entire school and mess with literally everything. Should be a lot of fun, one out of eight. So it looks like we do have like numbered things like that, I gotta keep in mind. Got another one of these snakes in the barrel. That didn't really do much, but it could've. Whoa, look at all these books. They're gonna fly away. <laughs> Goodbye, I guess. Got a blue set for it, that's cool. And some dominoes or something, some playing cards, I guess we were stacking up. I wanted to mess with this one. Two out of eight. And what about that? Not too much. Just trying to make sure that we're getting as many things as possible as we run around. It looks like maybe we can get one of the mandrakes to do something. Oh, we got another one of these. There's gonna be eight of these around, so that's three out of eight. Going back up this way. Yeah, we definitely gotta get a mandrake, I guess, from right here, right? I mean, it's, it's in there, I think. It, it's bumping around like it's a mandrake. Weird, I don't know if I can do anything with that. But in the meantime, we got four out of eight there. And I don't know how much progress we'll make in the castle in today's episode, but I'll just try to explore as much as physically possible. There is a, you know, an office here that we'll enter at some point, but I feel like we should complete this room as much as possible. And this is where it gets weird, right? I need to find another polyjuice potion because in this area of the game, there is no way to just change characters, which I find really odd. You need to have polyjuice potions. Oh, there's a chalkboard. Oh, what are we drawing? It is a little wizard witch lady. That's cool. Was that it? I guess so. Uh, can we attack these guys? We could, hey, give me some of your studs. Do you guys have studs? They're doing something. Oh, well thank you very much. <laughs> you're very, you're very kind. They seem to be having a good time. Uh, anyways. Let's get this, if I can, if I'm in the right position. That should be six out of eight. And I don't know what that'll get me. Obviously not like a, a Hogwarts crest. We've gotten all those in the game, as you can see in the bottom right. Very cool. And there's still 25 more student in perils to find. Like, that's crazy. I mean, we might have just created a student in peril in this situation. Like, I don't know what that was about. And we can't like get them back. So that was really weird. Maybe I can just hop in. Yeah, what was with that? I don't know. Anyways, um, I do see you over here. Can I just blast you and get that token? Yeah, how do I get your character? Come back. Where are you going? Yeah, he's just sort of laughing at me. Maybe if I zap him enough, he'll keep running around. This guy's been laughing at me for like all four years with this character token. Can I not get him? Yeah, why can't I blast you anymore? Oh, I see, now you're in trouble. Wait, was that it? Oh, there we go, there we go. Boom, we get ourselves a Gryffindor girl, unlocked. Very unspecific character, but now we have him and you don't. So there we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm still looking for a couple more things in this area then, at the least. We need to get those two things figured out. Maybe blast a couple of these. Oh, I can do something with these books. They'll probably just fly off and do something non-specific. And give me stats for it. Can't do anything with that. I do see more books to fiddle around with. There we go. Um, this goes next to the blue one. This one goes, this has to be something. Nope, it's just more studs. A lot of stuff we'll be messing with, it'll just give us studs. Which I mean, is like not the worst thing in the world. We'll be able to slowly climb back up to 20 million again, because we lost some studs buying all those characters, which I'm not complaining about. It was worth it for the characters. But um, because of all that, I don't know, this is like a lot going on. So I do want to get back up here, because there was still one more thing I didn't really get, and I got this one, right? Yep. There has to be one of those I'm missing somewhere. But in the meantime, yeah, this is like a Hogwarts H we got going on. 
Does it go here? It does. Where does this one go? Probably here. We got this thing, it goes right there. This one, oh, slots in perfectly right there. Got a red one, goes on the bottom over this way. And then lastly, this yellow piece fits in just perfectly. And that gives me just touch. No, 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 I can break something with this, with the Reducto. And one of that too, whoa! <laughs> okay, we exploded the wall. We're gonna get in so much trouble, probably detention. Um, But there's certainly something we can get here. Wait, Ron, why don't you have scabbers? I guess this is non-scabbers, Ron. That's where it becomes very unhelpful. And I gotta still change to a dark wizard for this. I don't know if I should go, whoa, oh. um. Where are the pieces for that? Oh, they're right here. Okay, I see. I got a little confused. Um, but yeah, I probably have to go find a Polyjuice Potion, maybe even go back to the potions class. Why can't I go in here now? And change, you know, Ron the Snape or something so we can open this stuff up. It's just sort of weird how it does it that way, you know? So I guess I'm just supposed to do something here. There we go. And that got us a golden brick at the least. That's super cool. Golden bricks. 116 out of 200. And that's just a lot of stuff we gotta work on is just like nudging our way through that kind of thing. So going back down here, before we do any of that, we do have more of these to mess with. This is definitely one I haven't done. It doesn't have as much of a wild flame. There are seven out of eight and I already see the eighth one right up here. And I know this will give us the earmuffs for the mandrake. Oh, that got us a hidden character. It is Hannah Abbott. Oh, and here's a Polyjuice Potion. Okay, so we should be fine. Um, Anything of interest to do around here beyond that? Oh, here we go, this is something, maybe. Nothing with those. Oh, I see, I could maybe get somebody to levitate me, come on. Thank you, they're both doing it, teamwork. Come on, a little bit more, there it is. So what can we do with these three? Something. Whoa, um, uh, goodbye. Oh my gosh, okay, we got Lee Jordan for that. Cool. Nope, okay, they're not gonna do anything anymore. I guess that one guy won the contest. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Ron. We're going to make him turn into, where is he? Snape is who I'm looking for. Oh man, all these characters are just sort of blinking and changing, it's hard to keep up with. There we go. We got Snape, he can do dark magic. I might change, just in case we need it. Actually, maybe not, maybe I shouldn't change Hermione into anything, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking we should change Harry, because while Harry does have uh, the Patronus, uh, so does Snape, and so does, I think, the character we're about to turn into, which is going to be Madame Pomfrey, just in case, like, that's just easier than changing a character to headphones and stuff, at least for right now. Um, but with all of that, I don't know if the Mandrake actually does something worthwhile to these. The best way to find out would be just to grab him, if we can. I can't, so I guess he just, he's there now. I guess it didn't add up to anything. Uh, but I can interact with this. And it has another secret character. This time around, it is M Millicent Bolstrode. I don't remember that person, but okay. Um, so we already went to the potions room. We sort of explored everything in there. So let's go into the Defense of the Dark Arts classroom, which is, I hope, right here. Yeah, this is the, well this is, this might not be defense of the dark arts. Actually, no it is. I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, we should be able to do something here. There's a lot of stuff to beat up. Snape can angrily beat all of it up because he didn't get to be the teacher he wanted to be. One out of four for this little butterfly book. Gotta keep that in mind. So there's probably three more of those in this room specifically we can find. Lots of stuff, really. Um, and there's more of these torches we can unleash. Will that do anything? Yep, it will. Good to keep in mind. And I already see the second one over this way and the one of the books, apparently. That was just by chance. So we've already done this, which was going against the the scary things that make things scary. There's three out of four. Can I go into here? Oh wait, this is where I came from. Okay, I'm being silly. Whoops. I thought it was like some special room I was finding. Nope. Do I have to do this again? I don't. I do have to switch to Hermione because she has a book and she can activate this over here. Potion, hat, moon, stars. Okay, potion, hat, moon, stars. What did that do? It gives us one of the more, one more of the books. Awesome. And have I done this torch? 
I have not, that's four out of four. What did that do for me though? I don't know. I mean, I got this character here, that's for the book, Station Guard, unlocked. Yeah, where's the other thing? Did, th did it give me anything? I don't think it did. You just gave me studs, that's sort of weird. Um, but there is this right here, obviously we can't quite get into there, but there's Ginny in there. Maybe if we use Reducto, we can do something worth our while. Oh, now I have to do this. Whoa. Dump it open. We'll get tons of pieces. I will gladly use those, excuse me. This chalkboard's in the way at the moment. Not very helpful. It's like some kind of gate. I need a door, or not a door, a key for the door. Or maybe I don't. What is this? It's like a portal to some other time or something. I wanna enter that in just a moment. I was hoping I could find a way. Oh, wait, here's another one of these. Oh, so maybe I didn't find, okay. I had thought, but that also didn't really do much. Isn't that weird? That was four out of four. Oh no, here it is. We get uh, Parvati Patil. Cool. Hope I pronounced it right. I don't know. Still don't know how to get in there, but that might be something that's answered when we go through this weird door. Oh. Where are we? I don't know. What, tell me? Not really. We're just in Hogwarts Castle. Um, well, in the meantime, it, I'm trying to just, it won't let me. I'll just do it the old fashioned way. It's like some part of the clock tower, but not really. Whoa, very dark in here, but it looks like there might be a red brick of some sort because there is a red brick owl. We get another one of these, ridiculous. Thank you for the trophy. And one out of five. And yeah, we can use that to get up here. There's some kind of potion we can make. I will gladly do that. But first, give me that. It's gonna be another one of these, which we have to get rid of a couple of them. And can I just save you? There we go, there's another student in peril. Two out of five, and student in peril, cool. You're welcome, sir, you're welcome. Can I get up here? I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to be going right now. Huh. Oh, I guess I can maybe jump across. Wow, okay, look at this. Be very careful. Get some extra blue studs, though. I'm taking damage, which I do not want. It's hard to tell because it's so dark. Crazy. Can I just blast that? I guess not. I also have to hit these lamps. That's two out of seven. Got a lot more of those to do. Oh, that's a purple stud, too. You know what, I'm gonna grab it and then switch. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, Hermione, I had to do it. Ah. Wait, where is she? Is she up here? Oh, I guess I should have stayed as, as her. Would have been easier. And there's more we can do with this, and then there's a gear over there. I swear that stuff wasn't there a moment ago. That's weird. Oh, definitely the blue stud. We are so close to 20 million again. Okay. Boom. It's a little gear guy. Goodbye. So obviously with this, we need to blast you. And you should be three out of five. And of course, there's gonna be another one over this way with you. And then as soon as he pops out, I'm just gonna blast him, immediate baby. Immediate baby Voldemort. Wait, it didn't work? Why not? I guess I had to be there the whole time? That's sort of silly. Come on now, hurry it up. I think there's more we can do? Like I saw like a purple sparkling. Yeah, over this way. What is this about? Oh, it's just a lamp. Well, there's another potion piece I guess I can give that to Madame Pomfrey. And I just have to find out, where, oh, I guess it's for this, which luckily, I, I mean, once again, we can't change characters around here, so we can't just change to Hagrid and get it that way. I wish you could, that make everything so much easier and more convenient. And I know they don't do this for any other Lego games. They don't make you have to change characters in such a weird way, so it is good to know. They sort of eventually change this. Anyways, take this potion. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're buffed, Snape. Okay, now pull this. And that will give us another chest, which has another thing. I feel like I'm missing some stuff, though. I mean, this will be our fifth one of these, right? I think. And then well, that'll be good, but we're still missing some of the lanterns, so I have to go back through and make sure I got them all. I don't think I did. Uh, there's the red brick, though. That's super cool. I'm gonna hop back down here, because we lit that one up, but maybe not this one. That's five out of seven. 
Yeah, we got that one. That's six out of seven. So I actually missed quite a lot right at the beginning. There has to be one more somewhere though. Uh, well first, let's give that to you. Hopefully that's something cool. It is, regenerates hearts. Oh cool, that is pretty fun, I guess. Uh, well, did I ever get that one? Oh, come on, bring me back up. I hope I did, but we're about to find out maybe. Oh, I hope. Ah, I don't know, I'll have to go around, which is sort of a pain. Ah, oh, come on, I can't even see, it's like so dark. There we go. I can't see, we're stuck in the smoke. This is silly. This part right here is really silly. There we go. Um. Oh, come on, don't send me back to the beginning. Why does it do this? Why was it so easy the first time? I just got so lucky. Oh, come on, you, you lit I literally cannot see if, I can, if I'm landing on the platform or not. And when I'm you know, trying to be safe and be closer to the wall, I end up, oh my gosh. Just hitting the smoke over and over again. Madam Pomfrey, move! What are you doing? Yup, it was that one. I'm very silly. There we go, we get Victor in the tuxedo. That's pretty cool. I guess that's from the Yule Ball, which this game didn't really cover whatsoever. Anyways, we're going back over this way. And that should be everything except for this. Oh, I didn't see the, the sparkles over it last time. All right, Snape, you know what to do. Uh, This right here, you should just be able to open it up. And inside we get Ginny Weasley, just normal Ginny Weasley, that's pretty cool. And there we go, so that is everything in this area completed. I'm still not quite done for today's episode. I wanted to explore quite a lot, as much as I really can. If we could explore each of these you know, school rooms in this main class lobby, that'd be awesome. So let's try this one, I think this is another classroom. Uh, let's find out. Indeed it is, it's a very similar classroom, almost the same exact layout. Let's first switch to Hermione. Stars, hat, moon, potion. Because one thing you gotta keep in mind is that when things get collected here in Hogwarts, like this overworld, they stay collected. So if there's something like this we can interact with, it means there's something in there, like a book. Apparently I've gotten one of those before. I need to get more. So, three out of seven. Oh, there is the red brick owl again. And what about you, buddy? I'll help you out. Oh, maybe I need skeletons for something. That'll be interesting. I can also interact with the torch. The torch is once again something. This isn't the divination class. I don't know what, what what this class was. I feel like it was just another defense against the dark arts, but in a different classroom. <laughs> um, There is that four to four. That's gonna get us another hidden character this time around. It is Ron in his pajamas. I swear we already had that, but we have it again. Hmm. Okay, so can I interact with this yet? Oh, I can, I can blast it. So I'm not just blasting silver books, I'm just blasting silver objects in general. Gotcha. Oh, I could have used that to get up there maybe. I don't really need the blue studs that badly. I won't leave it be. Uh, I've already interacted with all the torches, but I can also unleash this silver owl and give him a blast as well. That'll be five out of seven. Six out of seven, yep. Anything of interest behind there? Some blue studs. And there should be one more silver thing, but first I need to get rid of this guy. Oh, I think this was the guy I ended up getting, like the first one. No, I guess not, or it would have not have been there, actually. Because once again, once I collect something, it stays collected in, in the overworld. But that is a gold brick, our 117th gold brick, I believe. Actually, 118th, nice. Uh, so let us move over to Snape because he can at the least do something here. And end this stuff, let's, let's mess with this then. Cause it's sort of asking me to. Got it. And trying this out a little bit. All right, not, not too much going on beyond that. But this we can definitely do something with. Ooh, what's inside? It is a red brick. How cool is this? Let's go ahead and just slowly jump back over to the owl. Let's see what this red brick is gonna be. I'm excited to get all these. Hopefully we can get more stun multipliers to get a ludicrous amount of studs. Here we go. Off you go, buddy. And that is gonna be the fast magic unlocked. Ooh, that sounds nice. Definitely by the end of today's episode, we'll go back to the uh, Diagon Alley and sort of collect everything that we've gotten, just for fun. And what's going on up this way? Actually, it doesn't seem like too much. Like there's a, a spider web, which I have to get three of, apparently. I have not done a very good job of finding those. 
There's another one up here. Oh, that's two out of three. And then lastly, up this way, three out of three. And that's going to be yet another secret character this time around, it is. Parvati Ballgown, isn't that cool? Alrighty, so with that done, I think we are good to move out of this room. And how's our percentage doing? Wow, we've skyrocketed, skyrocketed up to 57.7%. That's always cool to see. Um, Because I know this area to the left is not a classroom, right? I'm gonna go in here to see if it's a classroom. This is just yet another part of Hogwarts' hallway. Not interested in that right now. Like, I'll explore that kind of stuff more later. And then this is more hallways and stuff. That's fine, but not what I'm exploring right now. There's so much to this castle. It'll definitely take me quite a few episodes to sort of get used to everything. Also, I didn't do this because I tried to do it before and it didn't really work. Can I help? Whoa, oh, there is something silver to blast there. He's like, don't mess with our duel. Actually, I can't blast it. All they did was give me a bunch of studs. They keep looking at me. What if I look away? No, okay. Anyways, not seeing too much over there, but we know that we can go up this way and get ourselves another classroom. I think this is a classroom. It may not be. I honestly can't remember. Because I'm trying to remember which classroom did... Wait, whoa, what's happening? What is this? What? Uh, why is it playing this cutscene? Have we, haven't we seen this before? Oh, watch out! Oh, he passed out. So he just she just transfigured that dummy into a rat. Transfiguration. Don't we already, we... What is this? <laughs> okay, we've never been in here before. We're just turning, okay, we're doing transfiguration, which is great and everything. But why didn't we already know this? I am so confused. This is just something random you can learn right now. It's not a part of any of the levels? Like, isn't that weird? We haven't needed this for anything, I guess. How weird is this? Anyways, we did it as Harry. We now need to switch over and do it as Ron. Oh, I guess you have to do it twice as every character. Okay, Ron, you're up to bat. Boom. And who else can we get? This guy. And then I'm gonna switch over to Hermione. And... Just do the same thing again. This is so weird that this is just randomly sprung on me. This is like just not a part of the mandatory level at all. Like maybe I was supposed to do this at some point and I missed it. But yeah, I guess that they could learn Transfiguration. Never really gave it too much thought if we could or not. Thought we could. Uh, transfiguration unlocked, very cool. Oh, I guess it goes over Expelliarmus. Isn't that weird? We also get our 119th gold brick for that. Isn't that just weird? So everyone's like, hooray, I can turn you into, oh, I can't actually. Anyways, I might try to leave and come back and see if there's more I can maybe interact with. I don't know if the students actually being here is a problem. We've never ever been in this classroom. So I just wanted to leave, then come back. I actually might have to change characters because it sort of changed my characters back, but that was just like alarmingly weird, you know? So far, there's not too much I can do around you. I mean, at first I can open this up, a bunny goes free. Honestly, don't mind too much. Free the bunnies. Got lots of studs from all that, but not really too much of what I'm looking for. We can get this bat out of here. Free the bats. And then, oh, what is inside of here? Is this a whole new classroom? Oh, what is, what is McGonagall doing now? There's, there's a race. <laughs> is this a race? Hold on, can I leave? I wanted to, okay. Um, you can't just throw this in, uh, okay. Maybe I'm supposed to stop them from getting there? Uh, am I supposed to, did I win? Did I lose? I guess I'm just supposed to turn them all into rats. I think that's the idea. Let's hope. I think they're not supposed to get past that red line while still being a dummy. This is just bizarre though, it is so weird. How many of these are we supposed to get? Okay, three each. Okay, that's it, that's it. So there's three on that one. That'll be the second one up top. This will be the, the third one in the middle. Yep, so we only just need two more up top. Actually, one more up top, and that should be that right there. Okay. Well, that's cool, I guess. We, we did it. 
Are you happy, McGonagall? We did all of your weird tests. All right, now we can leave again if we wanted to. All right, well, I'm in here anyways. I might as well explore it some more. You are very weird, Professor McGonagall. Uh, we're gonna go and grab this right here. This is Professor McGonagall unlocked. Well, isn't that useful? Cool. Took a lot of hard work, but I guess it was worth it to unlock Professor McGonagall. She's a very cool character. Um, And there's a gold brick in it to, for us too. I'll go grab that in just a second. Oh, little bird popping out of there. And not too much more in this room, it seems. Okay, well, you know, it's good to know. Got it. Gold bricks, 120 out of 200, so only 80 left in the entire game. That's very exciting. I feel like we're making some pretty good progress when it comes to exploring everything in this episode so far, then. There we go, got a blue stud. These fences we can beat up, even if it doesn't really do much for us. Okay, we're good, we're, we're gonna skedaddle. Go back into this room, where there definitely was more. <laughs> Definitely was. Oh, you know what? I could actually get on top of that and get some studs. Don't know how crazy interested I am. What about this torch? We can incinerate the torch and I guess that gives the studs. Where are Harry and Ron? Come on, lift me up. Come on, guys. All right, I'll, I'll do it my way. What about mechanical? I can blast her. I don't think she appreciated it, but she's not gonna do anything about it. Okay, um, there's really not too much more to do in this room, it seems. I mean, I wanna keep looking. But we're just about out of things to do. Except for like lighting up more of this stuff. And that just gives us studs. All right, well, there just wasn't much. I mean, we learned uh, the, the move, uh, Transfiguration, which is cool. So at least we have that. And that was it for that classroom then. Isn't that bizarre? Um, and then this way I think is another classroom. I mean, not another classroom, another hallway. Two more classrooms if we wanna explore those later on. Um, but I think that was some good progress. I mean, we jumped from 50 to almost 60%. I think a lot of it was buying characters. And I think that's something we'll do to uh, finish off today's episode. We'll go back and we will check out all the red bricks we got, all of the hidden characters. We're just gonna buy them on hell. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a little impatient, I know. But I think that'd be fun. Um, that way we can see how much percentage it gets us and how much more of a percentage we have to go. And then at the end of each free play episode, we can go back and buy all of the new stuff. And that'll be fun as well. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully you guys are too. I hope you guys enjoyed this free play section of the game so far. But I feel like we've been pretty thoroughly stomping through everything without too much of an issue, so that's always good to see. So we're gonna go back over to, I think it's Madame Malkin's. Yep, I wanna buy as much stuff as we can, so there's the Harry sweater, Harry Hogwarts, Harry Dragon Task, Harry Lake Task, uh, different versions of Harry. We're gonna go through all of these at some point or another, so it's, it's not really too much of a worry to me if I don't read them, because I'm gonna go through every single character and read through them all. Um, once we have them all unlocked, and that's gonna be cool. Right now, I'm just sort of more curious to see our total percentage once I do this. So there's McGonagall, that's cool. And there's still quite a few I need to go through, I think. There's Ginny, yeah, we just got her today. And George, different versions of George. We don't have as many versions of, of Fred, for whatever reason. Yeah, we found quite a lot of characters for one episode, I feel. Yeah, we got a lot of Slytherins, a whole lot of Slytherins. Whole bunch of them. Next up over this way, Cedric. More Cedric. Okay, anything else? And that might be nearly yet. Got quite a lot of this purchased. Here we go. One of Victor. We just got that in today's episode, I think. Mr. Ollivander. And we're like spending a good chunk of studs. Like we're back in the 16 millions, but it's 16 million still, you know? So I think we'll be fine. We got a green wizard, Ray Witch. And that might be nearly everything. There we go. We're getting close. There we go, just got the Moaning Myrtle swimsuit version. And that's everything around here. And I'm not gonna explore this area too much. I'm gonna save that for some other time when we're actually exploring Diagon Alley. That'll be my goal. Speaking of which, over this way is where the red bricks are, right? Maybe, yep. I'm gonna even buy those gold bricks at some other time. I'm not really too worried about it. I am much more worried about buying our brand new red bricks. So one thing, I never purchased these Silhouettes Ice Rink Disguise and Carrot Wands 
Don't know if I'm gonna apply those at some point. Invincibility for 500,000 down that way. Uh, we have Regenerate Hearts for 50, and Fast Magic for 75, so I'm definitely gonna apply some of that now. I mean, I might as well apply a good chunk of it. So let's go to Extras, and do, um, oh, okay, these are activated, it's just hard to tell, because uh, they're not blue. Um, regenerate Hearts on, and Invincibility on, and most importantly, the Fast Magic. Red Brick 20 locked, okay. Uh, I don't know what exactly is faster now, but I guess we'll have to find out sooner or later. Uh, with that being said, that was our first episode exploring Hogwarts. We got lots more exploration to do in the upcoming episode, so I hope you're as excited for it as I am. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Lego Harry Potter, years one through four. Before you go, be sure to comment Hogwarts Zebra, so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Task viewer. Also, subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.